What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video. So, y'all, Nikki has a lot to say about the woman accused of making swatting calls against the superstar, you guys. And also, she has a lot to say about Cardi B and the whole situation. So, let's get into the tea. I want to speak about what Nikki said about how she feels about the whole ordeal. Nikki stated... And this is her, this is her saying this, okay, and I quote, she stated, two times my home was surrounded by large bang bangs. The person, this person wanted my family with the two-year-old to be bang bangs at, yet no, no, nothing on any blog. This same person made a false claim to CPS. When you have snitches in high places of the music industry who don't want you to win but realize they can't stop you because God's anointing in my life is very real. Funny how this person hasn't been found, mentioned, or arrested. Nada. Queen Radio Live from New York tomorrow at 4 p.m. It's still protect black women or nah. No sympathy needed. You guys, she also stated to the woman who made those swatting calls to my home, was it worth it, Dumbo? Now, listen, y'all, because y'all know I tell my opinion on both sides. It seems mighty strange that this woman has not yet been caught when, you know, they allegedly know this woman's name and they have pictures of this woman. I don't care if it's Nicki Minaj or her daddy. If you do something wrong and you do stuff like this, you need to be caught, okay? Also, I really don't feel that Cardi nor Offset will go this far to do something like this or have their hand in something like this. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. We don't know what people are capable of, but I do feel like someone is trying to end Nikki's career, child, okay? That much is very obvious, and they are trying to pull every stunt possible. Does Ken put a damper on things? I guess according to social media, he does. But Nikki is a grown married woman, so her personal life, I guess, is her business, you guys. And I know that, you know, um, I know that it's Anyone who is competing against her, you know, they should be ready. They got to get their ducks lined up in a row. Because these album snippets that Nicki Minaj has played for all of us sound really, really good, you guys. But my question is a simple one, okay? Can someone hate you so bad that you could, that they would do anything to end your success, okay? What type of person or people do these types of things, okay? And who hates Nicki Minaj enough to where they would do so many evil deeds to try and jeopardize even the safety of a person's family and two-year-old? I don't care what a person does. God is really the final judge, you guys, not us, all right? And no one should, you know, wish harm or, you know, unaliving someone on anyone, especially not a two-year-old child, because that baby is home and was home during the situation. So imagine what that situation was like and how it could have ended as well okay so it's a two-year-old there that was not okay in my book you sh that woman shouldn't have done it i don't care who has beef keep it between the adults and it's a lot of stuff that i feel like nikki knows that she is just not saying to the people and she has a you know um a right to be mad about her child her only child at that now let's you know give our two cents on the other side of this situation okay because you guys it's a lot of celebrities that do have a lot to say about, you know, the Nikki and Cardi situation. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's one particular person. I'm going to say this because I know a lot of people don't like Charlemagne, but that's okay. Charlemagne, you know, he had his little his little run in and his little two cents to add to the situation as well. And a lot of people feel like Charlemagne should have stayed out of it. Um, But, you know, we're going to have to hear this little clip because he has a little point. I didn't know no. Kenneth, I know you know this because we the same age, 45. 45, Magnum, Colt, Trump, whatever, 45. So I know you know better. Maybe you don't because nowadays these individuals have let the internet make them forget street rules. Because if you were still moving by the rules of the street, there would be no way in hell that you would be on the FBI's internet recording yourself in 4K threatening to kill someone. You told that man to plan his funeral on the FBI's internet and you thought there wouldn't be any consequences and repercussions. Do you know how many people probably sent that video to law enforcement? Why? Because you're high profile. You're Nicki Minaj's husband. And that's one thing I want to say. Even if you don't respect yourself, respect your queen, respect who she is. You may not care about how this video impacts you, but you should care about how it impacts her. But maybe none of y'all care, professionally or personally. I just know as a husband and father, our job is to protect and provide. We can't do either one of those things if we tricking ourselves off the street. Because that's what this is. When you got on video and you incriminate yourself in this way, you're tricking yourself off the street. I didn't know no. Kenneth, I know you know this because we the same age, 45. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into what Nick Cannon said, and then we're going to go ahead and um, speak on it, okay?
I believe what Courtney is saying is that he is tarnishing the brand. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is foolishness. And you're standing on the corner of the block outside of the VMAs. I like him when he didn't talk. If you're a street dude. Hello. Be a street dude. Talk about it, Nick. Don't be on the internet. <laughs> Thank you. Street Thank dudes you. didn't even get on the phone. Like real gangsters moving silent. Hello. He got a, a bunch of other cats around him. Like, yeah, we outside. We know, nigga. <laughs> we see the street light. Uh, <laughs> I'm all for keeping it street, but keep it street smart. If I marry a hood nigga, I gotta babysit your ass for 120 days. Oh, nigga, you doing chores. Right. You're a housewife. <laughs> Go ahead and wash them dishes. You on punishment. You on punishment. No TV for That's you it. for 120 I days. I put it pregnant. Shit. Let's go. Now, you guys, a lot of these celebrities are making a little bit of sense. Listen, Charlemagne is right. Nick is right, too, to a certain extent. But I feel Kenny may have felt that that was his way of protecting his wife. But it does go back to what Charlemagne said. Think about how this impacts Nicki Minaj. Now, a lot of the comments under Charlemagne's clip had a few things to get off their chest. A lot of commenters, you guys, okay, as well. Someone said uh, Nas was the one for her. Someone said, I wish Nicki would have never married him. Someone said Nikki could have been with anybody. I hate that she chose him and who she decided to choose was him. Someone says Nikki loves them corny and embarrassing. Someone also says Nikki played herself marrying him, okay? And y'all, the list goes on and on in those comments. And I, I'm going to have to agree with some of it now. Not all of it, some of it. But that's why I said Nikki should have just focused on performing and getting her award instead of throwing shots at Cardi B at the VMAs. Because I didn't hear you know of cardi saying anything at the vmas and i'm not you know taking sides i can only tell y'all what i saw and heard from my own self okay it just wasn't a good look for Nicki minaj to conduct herself that way at that at that age excuse me because you could tell these folks at the vmas were nervous that is a whole other crowd of people the bet no shade those folks don't like all that drama at their establishments um and then both Nicki and cardi are riding up there rolling up their fans okay and that's not a good thing either because a lot of these fans are willing to go above and beyond behind these celebrities okay for what i don't know but i can say this you know it's alleged that offset you know dm ken and his friends first or whatever or ken's friend first and that's how the stuff you know got fired up um and anything kenny does will be alerted by the feds child okay and somebody definitely made that call and snitched okay it could have been one person it could have been two it could have been several okay it could have possibly been messy fans who knows but ken don't get caught up okay offset never showed up anyway from what everyone saw so just move along because nikki already has people in the industry who don't like her and love bringing up nikki's husband to make her look a ways for her fans and her in front of her fans in industry in the industry excuse me and allegedly folks say nikki has hitters in the industry who would step behind her okay now listen i know folks arrested ken now y'all need to arrest that woman uh making these swatting calls as well look i don't care if y'all arrest her ken and 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 whoever else i don't care y'all could arrest her and you know and all of this i don't care sorry my bad y'all y'all as long as they together i don't care if her and ken in the same jail or in the same jail next to each other okay but that swatting call woman she need to do time to whoever that lady is i forgot the girl name i'm not even gonna look up the girl name but everybody who needs to know know that girl, that girl's name because at the end of the day i'm not worried about none of these adults i'm worried about them babies Carter got babies and nikki got a baby and at the end of the day she should have never ever did what she did when she sat up there and called them people to that girl house you do not do no mess like that so i don't like that and i feel like she was wrong for that okay she was very very much wrong for that and y'all don't mind my thumbnail girl look i just noticed that i spelled uh i forgot the t and until but baby look y'all know what it is babe we got to deliver the t any way we can okay i'm not gonna change that honey because i said uh -uh, i'm on the time frame all right i gotta deliver y'all t on a timely fashion but anyway you guys make sure y'all like comment and subscribe go to cutie underscore tv and let me know what you you guys think okay that's my time i'll see y'all in the next one